member of uh, President Obama's inner circle speaking out, out, that is, about the role of religious faith inside the White House. Joshua Dubois led the administration's outreach to faith-based groups and was considered a pastor to the president. He recently left the White House and he spoke to ABC's Devin Dwyer, who's joining us now. Good morning to you, Dev. Hey, good morning, Rena. Good morning, John. That's right. Yeah, it was a fascinating interview. Dubois revealed some new details about President Obama behind the scenes and how he tries to connect with God. Joshua Dubois was spiritual advisor to the leader of the free world, an ordained member of the White House staff seen here in private Oval Office prayer sessions. Now Dubois has left President Obama's inner circle, bearing witness to what he saw. He's a deeply faithful president and, and didn't need a whole bunch of, of, of help in cultivating that faith. Mr. Obama's practice of faith has been relatively private, attending church less often than many of his predecessors. He gets daily emails of scripture to his personal Blackberry. The president would bring pastors into the Oval Office to um, have a conversation and moments of prayer. Um, he would reach out from time to time for suggestions of scripture. Did he have any favorite passages? I think he spent a lot of time thinking about the book of Job and, and Job overcoming trials. One trial for Mr. Obama, the shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary. Dubois says the gut-wrenching visit with Newtown families, being a sort of comforter-in-chief, was his biggest test of faith. It's something that he doesn't really talk about. He does, he's certainly not seeking to get credit for, but when you talk about this president's faith and values, um, those are the types of moments that stick out for me. President Obama's critics still have doubts, exploiting his ties to former Pastor Jeremiah Wright and fanning widely debunked rumors he's secretly a Muslim. Dubois says the skeptics never unsettled the president behind the scenes. The detractors will do their detracting, but um, at the end of the day, it's about his relationship with God. Now, those daily emails of scripture that Dubois sent to President Obama on his BlackBerry will soon appear on bookstore shelves. It's a compilation that he's calling the President's Devotionals. Rena and John. Kevin, thank you. Thanks so much. You know, it's fascinating because the church that the president tends to go to, St. John's, which is where Devin shot that interview outside of, um, I asked one of the ministers there, what's it like trying to do a sermon in front of the president of the United States? Yeah. And this minister said, I just realized the president wants to be like everyone else, doesn't want to be you know, so singled true. out so in true. the sermon. So. By the way, uh, Dubois is only 30 years old and yeah. he held that job for four years.